Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying just the fun part. These are waffle cones. I have the dark chocolate, milk chocolate. And white chocolate. These, uh, the white chocolate, we found at Marshall's and they were $4.99 for the bag. The milk chocolate and the dark chocolate were sent to us from Carol in Illinois and she said she thought they were $4.98 each at Hy-Vee. So that's right along the lines of Marshall's. So we're gonna try the dark chocolate first. It says, just the fun part, waffle cones filled with dark chocolate, filled with real Belgian chocolate, bite size. This is a 120 gram bag. To share or not to share, that is the question. Regardless of the answer, we've got you covered. Inside this resealable bag is the key to satisfying your nostalgic cravings. No need to thank us, it's what we do. Rich dark chocolate filled crispy mini cone filled many waffle cones and need we say more just the fun part was born out of a desire to capture the best part of our childhood favorite snack so dig in and share with your friends or don't we won't judge uh two piece two pieces are 100 calories really wonder how big these things are they must awfully be big yeah, I mean, that seems awfully high yeah that, that must be really big Oh, they are bigger. I think these are bigger than what we've had in the past with other brands. Oh yeah, those are a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger, yeah. They're filled a lot higher because the ones in the past were like only the very, very bottom. Uh-huh. These are like a third of the way up. Yes, that's I wonder who ate the rest of the ice cream cone. <laughs> to get to this point. Mm. Oh. Wow. Good grief. That chocolate is mm. beyond what I'd call hard. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I mean, that's the crunchiest, hardest chocolate I've ever had. Yeah. Ever. And we've had some cheap chocolate. Okay. That's like, you know the baking chocolate bars? Mm -hmm. The really thick ones? That'd be like you trying to bite through one of those baking chocolate bars. That's what that was like. That was terrible. Yeah, it's way too hard. They need to put some more oil or something in there to soften that up. It's a product of turkey. Well, turkey must have some good teeth. Um, <laughs> the flavor's the, okay. The flavor's okay. It's okay. It's it's uh, there is some bitterness there from the dark chocolate. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, that's what you're left with is that mm -hmm. bitter flavor. Yeah. Um, and you get don't get the crunchy cone because you're try, too busy trying to bite through the hard piece of chocolate. Yeah, I'm sure that was a delight to to look at me Arr. trying to bite through that. It is so hard. I would never get those again. No, not for not for all like that. Mm -mm. Okay, these. And all are, we can do is judge them with what we're, we've got. Yeah, these are the milk. These look just as bad. Well, let me just say, the dates on these bags. We are in 2022 right now. These bags are good until 2024, and they're good until. April of 2024, so it's not like they're bad. Spite on your back teeth, it's a bit better. That one's still pretty hard. It's not quite as hard as the dark one, but it's still hard. Yeah, that's their issue. Don't mind the flavor, but the, uh, the, the texture is way too hard. The flavor, it's not bad. It's, it's okay. It's nothing creamy it's not creamy at all it's not deep or rich mm. it's not all that sweet really no it, there is a there's more sweetness to the milk chocolate than there was to the dark sure. um i would never ever ever get this this again no never maybe the white chocolate turn it around okay in our bag that we bought at marshall's so i told you carol bought these in illinois at hyvee we bought this bag at marshall's and our date says August of 2024. So they have a long shelf life, no matter where you're buying them. Did you bite half of that other one before you handed it to me? Okay. That's why it was so much easier to eat. Mm. That one's a little bit softer. That's a little bit softer just because it's. I think it's just because it's white chocolate more than mm -hmm. anything, but it still doesn't have a lot of flavor though, does it? I do taste the difference, absolutely. 
and it is it does come across as much sweeter than the previous two oh, yeah, because definitely. it's white chocolate yeah. it isn't it isn't the um it tastes more to me like vanilla it yeah. has a vanilla I flavor to it than white chocolate I hate to say it, and I appreciate Carol finding these. Right. I mean, it's funny that we had already had these in the cabinet to review, and she sent us more to review from Illinois. So I think that's awesome that she did that, and we appreciate it. But uh, I would never buy these again. No, they're just too hard. So It's well, not something you can put on your tongue and let it melt either. It's, it's, it's just... Yeah, it's not that kind of... Yeah, thing. I would try to save you some money. And these were expensive. They were pretty much $5, five dollars a bag. And that's way too much money to be spending on these. Yeah. Because they're, they're, the quality is absolutely not there. And that's a shame. Because a lot of... Um, yeah, because they can soften that chocolate up for sure. A lot of people will see these and think they're going to get something really good and you're not no. at all so and think about the bottom of the ice cream cone which is what they're going for right the bottom mm -hmm. of the ice cream cone none of them are ever that hard no even and after I they've like been the in the size. freezer even after they've been in the freezer they're not mm -hmm. that hard i mean they're much softer than that yeah so I, I don't yeah the size is good but everything else is just a pass yeah just too hard yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching